Hello everyone, um, I've got a quick tutorial um, to share with you. Uh, okay, so let me start off by saying that this is not my original idea. I was watching Gail, uh, okay, I'm not even gonna, yes, I've written it out. I've written it out for you guys, um, Gail. I was watching her channel um, and she did a tutorial on a trifold envelope that she had received from a friend. Um, it's a lovely tutorial and lovely envelopes. Um, so I'm gonna link her a video in the description box below so you guys can go over and check her tutorial out <clears throat> so um in her tutorial she uses a napkin and she decoupages it onto um i guess just regular envelopes that you purchase they're lovely but i don't want to do all that so i figured i would use designer paper um so this is what i've come up with um this was uh, the first one, and I actually messed it up, so I was just going with it. I didn't want to, you know, um, I figured let me try and create something out of that. And this is the second one I've created. So I'm going to show you the second one that I created, then I'll show you what I went ahead and did with this one. So this is the first one. Can't even remember what I did. <laughs> okay. Okay. It's a trifold envelope, so they fold out, and you have um, three envelopes to put stuff in, okay? Um, so I went ahead and added a pocket behind um, these tags. So that's what I did. And there should be three. Yeah, there's three. So that's lovely. And on um, this one, the first one that I messed up, I only did two envelopes. And remember the um, envelope booklet that um, I have a tutorial on, you guys? I just incorporated that into this and made a little journal with that. Okay, so I was just playing with it. So, you know, this is not um, the best, but it's an idea. Okay, so what you're going to need, um, you're going to need three pieces of designer paper, whichever paper um, you want. Um, the measurements need to be eight and a quarter by eight and a quarter. Okay, you're going to need an envelope punch board. So you're going to take your paper, after you've cut it out, you're going to line it up on your punch board at three and five eighths. Now look, I can't even find it on here it's right there so I'm going to line it up right there I'm going to punch and then I'm going to now I forgot what you call this but I'm going to crease it okay and I remember watching Crafty Irena because I couldn't um, figure out how what I was messing up on my envelopes you're going to turn it and you're not going to pay attention to what's over here you're going to line this um, where you just uh, creased it at, you're gonna line it up with this line that's running on your punch board right here. Okay, you're going to punch again and crease. Turn and do the same thing. Cause sometimes it'll line up, like it'll line up at the five eighths mark and sometimes it won't, or the right mark and sometimes it won't. So I just go by this, you're gonna punch it again and crease. Okay, punch it again, I've lined it up, I've lined this crease up with this line here and I'm creasing. Okay, put this to the side. So you end up with, if you can see the creased edges, okay, and I normally use my, um, my other file bone folder because I don't really like using this when it doesn't work as well and you guys have to excuse I have the um my throw blanket down because my crafting desk is like way cluttered okay so I'm just creasing on all these lines okay just um reinforcing that line that we just made those folds okay And you now you have your envelope. 
Okay, so I like to round the corners. Just the corners that will show. You don't have to round all of them. Just that corner and this one. Okay. So you have that. Then what you're going to do is you're going to glue. See how that's off? That shouldn't be off at all. Okay. So I've messed that one up. That shouldn't be off like that at all. It should all line up. Okay. So I'm not even going to glue this down right now. But I will glue around and make my envelope. So I'm kind of directing this at newbies because I know other people already know how to do this, how to do that. Okay, so I have, um, I have three that I've already punched out and set up for you guys to make it easier. Because we're all very impatient. We don't have all day to watch hour long videos, do we? Okay, so all you do is at this point, it's just the same as um, Gail's. You're just going to glue. Let's go ahead and glue. Now you're attaching the envelopes together. Okay. You're just going to take this end and glue it onto that end. And since I'm doing the video, I can't tell if that's straight or not. I like to test it like that and that's a bit off and that's but that's okay because it's handmade and you know I think it just adds the character to it whatever you're creating and I'm just going to connect that as well yeah I think that's very off yeah. Okay. And I actually, yeah, that's off. I actually wanted to, um, let's see. Okay. So that's what you have. So you get the idea. Um, and from here, you can just go on and decorate it as you please. But with these, the thicker papers that are double sided like this, um, it's going to be hard to try and use them in a scrap, I mean in a journal, just because of the thickness. So um, I use these, you know, the one-sided paper that's not so thick. But I mean, I think that'll make a beautiful addition. And all that I did with um, the one with the journal, of course, is just I sewed, you know, my paper. I just sewed down, straight down that line, the crease of that line there. And if you're ha you have trouble um, sewing straight, you can always go in with your um, um, your distress marker and you know darken that so you have a line to follow. And then it should fold flat and it should open and fold flat like that. Okay, everything should be flat if it's sewn in right. Okay. All right, you guys. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned because I have another um, tutorial coming soon. Thank you.